Ah, I'm back. Okay. So, as you can tell, I talk about issues um, that black men and black women have, especially in today's society and the buildup. Okay, so this has been issues ever since I've been born, before I've been born. And we all know that it comes from um, cultural, cultural interference and distractions. You know, other cultures mixing in with our skin, our skin tone. And it is the way it is. It, it can be changed or it could be made better. And this is my contribution to um, to the world to put my view and my point of view out um, to anybody who want to change things for the better who uh, change it for the good, however you want to put it. topic I'm going to be talking about today, you know, it's a spectrum of topics, but um, I'm going to be talking about social common sense, okay? And I think in the last video, I, I talked about common sense, and you can't gain, gain common sense at a young age. I've I noticed that. We, people have controversies over this, and there's a saying that um, everybody don't have common sense some something like that but it's true you know everybody don't have common sense common sense is something you have to earn just like money you know just like a paycheck just like wages you have to earn common sense and you can't gain common sense without experiencing some things and as a person from you know 7 all the way up into 30, you don't have common sense. It's after you pass 30 is when you start gaining common sense. You ain't got to believe me. You just got to do your research and pay attention. Because as you, as you get older, there are certain things that you start noticing that you never noticed as you was younger. Okay? So it, that's just the way it is. That's facts. Okay? The social common sense topic is kind of like uh, I'm basing it off you know relationships that we have because that's what I know I know relationships and you don't have to be educated you just have to be experienced you don't have to be an expert you just have to be experienced people who use the expert paperwork shit is an excuse to fuck other people's head up you know, just because you think you have a degree to tell people what to do, that doesn't mean that you're not following the same instructions that was given by the same people whose head was already fucked up. Okay? Because we know that this society itself, this whole society, this, this country was constructed of fucked up shit. Okay? It was, it was based off greed it was based off murder it was based off thievery it was based off a lot of evil shit and it's trying to transform into good and that's why we look to religion and shit like that you know to 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 try to transform transform uh bad shit into good shit and so we seek religion which is a good teacher in some aspects okay but as far as social common sense is concerned um when you're in a relationship and you're committed um commitment is the key word you know when you commit yourself that means that person is responsible for you and you're responsible for that person it's no if ands what's about it. If you want to be responsible, it's just like having a family. It's like having kids. And you build up your confidence and you build up trust between two people. 
and you guys end up committed, you know, you report to each other. You tell each other things that other people don't know. Um, you commit yourself to financial um, transparency, uh, background transparency, uh, family transparency. <laughs> I mean, you open yourself up to that person. And that's not a bad thing at all. That's a gain. That's a plus. You know, that's a, a, a multiplication. Just, you multiply yourself. And hopefully somebody's putting something into you and you multiplying for them. That's just the way it is. Bottom line. It's facts. This is attraction. This is the law of attraction. You know, th this is energy, how energy flows. And if you want to be in a positive energy, you have to stay committed. You know, and committed means saying everything, what you're saying, every word comes out of your mouth. It has value. It has meaning. And it ha it sets the tone for your future. Okay? You saying anything like, fuck you, and I, I hate you, and then turn around and still be with the person, uh, that's not commitment. And eventually, you're going to have to face that wrath in the future, you're going to have to face that, even with a thought of that person might be with somebody else or whatever. You know, you're going to have to deal with that. So it's better to use your common sense and be nice to the person and practice on being open to the person. You know, when you're um, choosing friends over the person Making choices between the person you committed yourself with and friends. If you're not making friends together, okay, if you're not building friends together, then you're not really leaving, you're not putting yourself in a position where you're allowing newness and, 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 and better experience, a, a, a more experience for you and your other person, you and your partner, you, you're not allowing that experience. Because one, if you still have the old friends, the same friends before you came into the relationship, and y'all still kicking it, and y'all ain't, you know, you and your new partner ain't even, you know, into that, you're not involving them, then you're just doing the same thing. You, you, you're committing yourself to venture off, to, to stay in the, on a separate path, so to speak. And you, that's, that's, that's fucking with somebody else's life. You know what I'm saying? Unless both of y'all agree to that, then still, you're planning separately. You know, it's nothing like a whole relationship. It's nothing like a whole commitment. It's nothing like putting... Y'all, everything together. That means family, friends, putting everything together, doing everything as a couple. You know what I'm saying? As a power couple. And when you do that as a power couple, you, nothing can penetrate that. Nothing can infiltrate what you have. And you can build better. And you trust more. You know, you trust the person to be there. You trust a person to do this. You trust a person to, to be support, you know, and you trust yourself to support that person and vice versa and do the same thing. I believe me, that shit works. It's facts. Okay. So it's like trust yourself to know that you can trust somebody else. You know, never mistrust the person. And if you have problems with trust, then let me tell you something. Here's some practice. I, I myself, I'm doing it myself. You know, and it, and it works. Okay? Think about this. When you mistrust, how much energy are you putting into the thought of the mistrust? It's a lot of energy. A lot of energy. And it goes to on and so on and so on until you cre create a scenario where most of the time it manifests itself. 
and then you tell yourself, I knew it. I knew it. I knew you. No, you manifest it. Just like you can manifest good shit, you can manifest bad shit. Okay? Practice on this 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 thing of trusting yourself, learning the actions of that partner, and trusting those actions. If if the per that I'm about to say it. If your partner lie all the time, trust that they're gonna lie all the time. Okay? Trust that. Don't mistrust it. Trust it. Because if you do that, then you trust yourself. You trust yourself to know. That don't mean you do the same thing they doing and, and cause more mistrust. That just know that just means you know that person. Okay? And, and then that's a choice. You deal with it or you don't deal with it. That's on you. Okay? So just be more trustworthy. I mean, use your common sense and base your common sense off positivity. When you trust off positivity, then your days are beautiful. And you have beautiful ass days. Think about that. Okay, but let's 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 keep it moving. Okay, so um, never let money control your relationship. The relationship controls the money. Okay. The last video I was I was uh, pointing out the fact that if you work together on a job, then you have more power to control your money, your your whole financial situation if you work together. Okay. If you don't work together, then that's individual power, okay? Because one person is thinking about their money, the other person is thinking about their money, okay? And you're not actually putting together, but you're trying to live together. You're trying to be together. <laughs> you're trying to buy shit together. You're trying to figure out how are you going to make it work. You can't make it work if you're not putting your shit together, being a whole. Sometime in 1980, between 1980 and 2000, there were a lot of uh, subliminal promoting going on in the media for women to have individual accounts. You know, this is your money. You don't need to put your money together with him. You need to have a separate account and do what you... That's planning to fail in any relationship. You're planning to fail. You're planning not to be with that person. And if you're putting all your shit together, as you're putting everything together, then what is that? You you have, you ain't got no option but to make it work. Okay? You have no option but to see things better through for you and that person. Okay? But this promoting of uh, live as an independent person. That shit is bullshit. It, it goes another. It goes hand in hand with women's discrimination and women's rights again. Okay, that's once again that's messy. Okay, that's just it's just messy. It's just it's just another way of fucking up the world. Okay, You're keeping the world unbalanced. And what we really do need, especially in this time and in time and day of what they call pandemic, we need balance. We need balance in this motherfucker because the more and more men and women are not working together, especially black men and black women, the more and more in days pass by, you see things are getting worse. It's getting worse. It's, it, you think it's getting better for you as a woman, but it's getting worse as a man. And what happens when it gets Worse than man, you you lose your protector, and you lose a lot of other shit, especially spiritually. If you're not no spiritual, if you don't have no spirituality in your in your in your in your in your heart, and in your mind, and in your gut, my God, you're a materialistic, shallow ass, and everything about you is fake, and you're you 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 living by somebody else's standards, 
okay? Fashion standards, hair standards, look standards, place standards. You're living by somebody else's standards. You have no creativity going on. You don't have any oomph about you. You know, if you've seen Shirley wearing this and you like what Shirley got on and you think Shirley look good and you want to look like Shirley, then you go to the same fucking hairdresser or you go to the same spot to get your shit. Ain't, ain't nothing individual or creative about you. Think about that. If you can't pick up no sewing machine and you can't do your own hair or do your own nails or do your own makeup, you suck. I'm going to tell you that now. You suck. You letting, all these, you letting Asians do your shit and you letting all these other cackling females do your shit all the time? Like, it should be at least out of the month. You should be able to do your shit at least three or four times out of the month. Do your own shit. It saves you money, one. And if you got a kid at the house, then you ain't got to worry about nobody not showing up or charging you outrageous shit. And you get better quality out of knowing that you did it. And it's better pride. I mean, come on, seriously? You know, a woman who can't do their own shit, she's not, she ain't no good for nobody, really. <laughs> you can't, what do you, 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 what you good for? You're going to be looking for anybody and everybody to do your shit. Your shit. That's your shit. Okay. So, money and finances. Sit your ass down. Talk about, you know, how much you got. How much you trying to get. How much you're going to budget. Talk about this stuff. It should be a day-to-day -day conversation. Even if, because we all spend money every day. All throughout the day, we all spend money, and and that's that's a conversation. You you can't have a conversation about how much you done spent today. The then you hiding something, and you can't trust yourself. Bottom line, and so how you can how can you build a strong relationship off that shit? You can't. Okay, it's it's just no way. Okay, and, and I know our parents didn't teach us this. Most of our parents didn't teach us this, and they don't teach you this. They don't tell you, you know, be prepared, you know, to to for the person that you looking for or that might come into your life. That may, you know, nobody's perfect. Okay, no, nobody's perfect. And when you come in contact with somebody, everybody's gonna have a flaw. And I, I always use this tactic. When, you know, meeting somebody or, you know, this tactic is everybody has issues, okay? Everybody has an issue, but all issues don't match, okay? So you take a woman who's clingy, put her with a man who's a stalker. That's a beautiful relationship. You got to really think about that. That's that's a beautiful relationship. They don't have no problems. Okay? They're happy. Okay? But you put you put the opposite issues, it's not going to work. You're going to have all the time arguments, blah, 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 blah. It's very important that people have opposites that, that, that attract. Okay? And what I mean... Really, opposites that attract. I mean, man and woman. I don't mean man and man, woman and woman. I mean, man and woman. Thank God I got this platform and I can say what the fuck I want to say. You know, I, it might be monetized by an outside force, but you can't stop nobody from expressing themselves. Okay? And my expressions are based off a better person, being a better me, you know, and then having people around me bettering them and they're bettering me and I'm bettering them. Feng Shui, my nigga. That's what you call it. But back to the financial situation, never let money control your relationship. You control the money. And the only way you can control the money is you talk about it all the time. And it's something worth talking about constantly throughout the day. You can't afford not to talk about it. You can't afford not to talk about how much you made, how much you plan on spending. You, you just can't. Okay, and um, let me see. 
um, religion, viewing religion together. Um, don't let religion outside, like using Jesus and God to separate you. It's in the book in itself. God is in everybody. Jesus in the book explains, hey, what I can do, you can do also. My father is your father. We both have God in us. So if you're looking at the God in that person and that person is looking at the, in the God in you, then that's your religion. Okay, you that's that's your religion. You you don't you don't oh Jesus, Lord have mercy, he don't or she don't, you know. That's blasphemy when you really think about it. That's blasphemy and, and you blasphemizing yourself because if you talk about your partner or talk about anybody else outside of you, and you're using Jesus and God's um spirituality then you 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 really fucking yourself you, you know you you fucking yourself because who are you to judge let the first motherfucker cast the stone who have not sinned that's how i said <laughs> blah and what i mean by sin is you know just going against your thoughts you know, you, you go against your thoughts you go against Shit, you thinking like I'm finna go to the store, but you don't move. You know that's a sin. It's a small sin, but it's a sin. Uh, it's it's not what you put in. It what it's what comes out. Okay, so using religion to control uh, the person or control your situation, then you got to be careful. You got to be careful how you talk to a person and how you talk to yourself in the inside of your head. You know, when you are strong minded and you are strong willed, then nothing can really stop you, you know, unless you doing that shit on evil contents. You know, you, you using evil thoughts to get what you want. And that always comes comes back around. But let me tell you, religion is not the book. It's not the Bible. Religion is something that you do consistently over and over. It's a practice. Music can be your religion. Love can be your religion. Hell, alcohol can be your religion. Weed can be your cocaine. It could be, it, that all can be your religion. Because this is what you do and you believe in every day, all day. It's what you practice. So if you read in the Bible constantly, every day, and you're practicing Jesus' ways, of course that's your religion. But it applies to everything that you do repeatedly. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. You can be a fucking serial killer. Oh, uh, shit, you could be a... Uh, 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 a person who gives away a lot of shit. Or you could be a doctor who saves lives. You know, it's still a religion. And you have to be careful on how you use it. Okay? Bam. Just like that. It's just that simple. You know, you're just using common sense is what you got to use. Trust in yourself. You got to trust. Trust yourself. Okay, trust yourself when using religion and trust yourself when picking a partner. Trust yourself that you are beautiful, you are bold, you are creative, you are courageous, you are a winner. Trust that. Trust all the positive attributes that you have to offer. Trust that. You, you can. You can trust that. And no matter what situation that you're in or what your past is, trust that your future is going to be better. Okay? Trust that you're going to get over your future or get over your past. If you have something to get over, trust it. 
put it in your heart, put it in your soul, put it in your spirit. And trust that there are people out there that will help you, that will help you and support you in getting over that. And you know, it, what I've noticed in these days and times is that people don't support each other um, personally. They don't put a personal stake in supporting each other. They support each other over the fucking media, okay, where you, you're standoffish. And you can say whatever you want to say from afar. But as far as being there, you know, getting together, stuff like that, no. It's, you know, the pandemic has, is a tool to uh, keep people separated. It's definitely a tool to keep it, keep people separated. So, you know, just trust in yourself. Don't let these times control you without putting positivity in it. If it's not positive, then nine times out of ten, it's not helping you. The po this pand It's been so many motherfucking common sense. Break. Check it out. AIDS, Ebola, Corona. What all, all these things have in common? Syphilis. All these things have in common. They got two things for show sure in common. European standard and pandemics. Okay? Always, always trust that is going to be some shit coming from Europeans. Always going to be some shit coming from Europeans. Always. It is history. It's in the timeline. You can Wikipedia. You can, The information is out there for you to research and look at. For, so you can get a better understanding. And this is, this is something that is there for you to look at. It's, it's in the timeline. I mean, it's been so much shit. That's, that you can trust that they're going to bring up, that they're going to conjure up to keep you off balance, to keep you separated from your significant other, okay? From keeping you from partnering up, creating a family. Something else I noticed uh, in today's society, especially in the area that I'm, I uh, reside in, is um, I see a lot of uh, European um, Americans that are um, having, you know, kids, having children. And then you can tell it, it, it comes from the pandemic, the quarantine pandemic. You know, being in the house together, you know, you're going to have sex constantly. And pregnancy pops up. Now, this time of the year you see a lot of European females with babies if you haven't noticed so their population from this pandemic has exploded now take the African American women the population is not coming up it's different. They're more independent and they're more focused on each other than they are uh, in population. So therefore, there's no legacy coming in the next generations. None at all. It's very low. But for as far as the European um, Americans, their legacy is very strong. Also Asian. Asian legacy is very strong. Asian legacy, it goes from legacy to dynasty. <laughs> and the European, they go from legacy to empire. Okay? But the African Americans, no legacy. And it's sad. This is sad to notice. This is sad to realize that black women ain't into, ain't into really making families, creating families. They think they can't afford it. You know, but for for every, you know, child that a European or Asian have, there's incentives. 
they sign up for incentives and there are programs that's made for them to create incentives to get married, to have children, to buy a home, to add a car. And it, it's all through the tax rights. You know, these are tax write-offs. You get married and you, the bigger your wedding, the more you write the fuck off. Duh. The, the more luxury of the car, might be the insurance might go high, but it's still a tax write-off. <laughs> like, at the end of the year, that's how they receive more incentives. I, I don't get why black women don't see this. You know, get a man. You need to get a man. I don't give a fuck if he's coming out of jail. I don't give a damn if he's a he's homeless. Get a man. You can build a man. Just like if you can walk in a goddamn mall and build a bear, you can build a man. You can. Men been doing it forever. We've been building women like crazy. Like we have been building women. And it's so easy for us to drive down the street. See a woman walking down the street, look like she ain't got shit, pick her up, put her in our car, take her shopping, and build her up. Put some money in her, in her account. See what she wants. If she's ambitious, that makes sense. If she's not, you still going to give us, you're going to be your hoe. You know what I'm it, it's, either way, us as black men, we make it easy for black women to live. And in return, black women make it hard for black men to live by trying to pace us against the European standards. Knowing that we ain't got a motherfucking chance. We got to go through so much to get to your standards that you have transformed yourself into. Wow. Okay. Um, watch what you say. This is very important. Watch what you say. The words and the vibration and the frequency that we are on today is very sensitive. The technology is very sensitive. Just, just to show us my, my words and my vibrations are being monitored on this frequency right here, this could either give life or give death. And it makes it faster. It manifests faster than it used to manifest back in the day, uh, like 100 years ago. 100 years ago, manifestation, it took, took a minute. It took, took at least 90 days to a year for something to really manifest. That's a hundred years ago. Shit, today it take five, five minutes. Less than five minutes for you to manifest something through technology today. So watch how you talk to your partner. It, it's no joke. If you want to be a comedian, if you want to joke all the time, and you, you want to Oh, nigga, fuck you. You ain't shit. Blah, blah, blah. And you're joking. You know, carry that shit on stage. When you put it on stage and put it on the platform, like actually put it on the platform, you notice that shit makes money. It puts you in a financial situation if you're funny. But if you're in private and you talking shitty to each other, then it manifests into each other. And you're dumb as hell to sit there and do that because you're that same person that you're talking to. Think about what I just said. How you talk to your partner is how you're talking to yourself because you are looking at a mirror. You're looking at a mirror. If you're a sweet person, then be a sweet person. If you're a mean person, then God bless you. You know, you, you're gonna get it back gonna get back seven times fold, okay? Because the universe is built off positivity. The universe is not built off negativity in no form, no shape, no fashion, okay? Believe that much. 
The universe is not built off no type of negativity. Okay, what you see in the sky is all positive. What you see in the ground that comes up is all positive. The winter may look negative. It may feel negative, like as in temperature. And it said zero negative or 32 negative below. That's, that's negative, okay? Anything above and rising above is a positive. And it results into fire. It results into a blaze. That's how positive works. Okay, it, 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 it burns off negativity. So you can live without negativity. Just remember, choose your words wisely. Like, like the general on 300, the movie 300. You know, choose your words wisely because you never know who they might affect. You never know. I have learned and I'm still learning. You know, positivity is always going to over succeed negativity. Any day, every day, all day. It's going to over succeed it. Okay, so stay positive. And um, this is my message, and I'm going to outro on this one. And good luck finding, you know, peace and love, happiness, and may everything get better in your life. And look forward to better things. Look forward to manifesting some beautiful, positive things. Peace. Peace.